I just wanted to make a quick video about uh, the process. I bought this 2003 GMC Yukon and it did not have any steering wheel controls. Every other Chevy I've, or U GMC I've ever had in these years always had them and it really bugged me. Anyways, uh, looking through the YouTube and through the internet, I got a lot of uh, discrepancies about whether it could be done or not and how much it costs and Anyways, it actually really isn't that bad. Just real quick. Um, I know I put I got everything back together, but you actually have to change the harness in here with the clock spring uh, in here. You can see I have the controls here. Um, it goes all the way down into here. I have an aftermarket alarm, so that made it much more difficult. Uh, if you don't have an aftermarket alarm, it's actually a pretty simple process. Uh, but you got to change the harness inside the column. It's a clock spring. I actually have the part number right here. You can see the information here. I believe this is the part number right here. And uh, this is the whole clock spring. I kind of hacked it up because of the alarm. Um, so you have to change that out. That means, and the process is actually fairly easy. i uh, seen some videos about changing, taking the steering wheel apart. You need a puller. I didn't need no puller. I just wiggled the steering wheel left to right, popped right out. There's a center bolt. You've got to take the two airbags. This airbag actually will pop out. You put a little uh, something to get in right here. I used a uh, drill bit, and there's one on the other side. Pops right out. Steer, take the bolt off. Uh, steering wheel comes right off. No big deal. Um, there's actually a write-up. If you look, if you look it up on uh, on the internet, you can find a write-up about how to take this stuff off. It's pretty easy. This kind of just snaps out, but you got to just replace this wiring harness in here. And like I said, it's not that difficult. Now, once you do that, you can get this to work with an aftermarket radio. And the thing is, is I ended up going with this one right here. It's a pack. You can see it down here installed. Now, you got to get the one that's basically analog. You cannot do this with the, with the CAN bus. Um, it's got to do the old school way. Now, when you tap that in, you got to tap it into a wire down here. And if you look up on the pack website, it'll tell you. It's, it's a matter of fact, you can't even see it here, but it's going to be a green wire down on the plug that you replace for the clock spring. Um, down there, it's going to be. I think it's B31. Anyways, if you look on the pack website, it tells you, but it's a light green wire. It's like the second wire up next to the gray wire, I believe it is, or above the gray wire. But you just got to tap into that wire and uh, run it into this pack. All you got to do is uh, wire this up to the plugs right into my Pioneer. And then there's a power ground. That's basically it. And uh, you, as you can see, look. Work great. We'll change the station. Uh, you can see it works great. Answers my phone calls. And uh, hangs them up. Uh, you can program them. I mean, it's really this. I got this thing on Amazon for 32 bucks. You can't beat it. Uh, real simple to wire up. The point of this video is is to tell people that you can do this. You can install steering wheel controls. I got this steering wheel on Amazon. It was 200 bucks. I got the clock spring from my local dealer. He was real cool. He gave it to me for like 150 bucks. They're pretty pricey, but I got it for 150 bucks. Uh, when I uh, during this process, I actually changed the intermittent steering shaft. It's kind of hard to see, but down here, everybody knows that they go wrong. And this uh, bearing right here, you can see the green one. I changed that. I did everything at the same time. So pretty big job, but I finally just got it all working. Um, you can see to prove it. Here's my old steering wheel. I just took off. No steering wheel controls. That sucks. I really love having the steering wheel controls, keeping the hands on the wheel, especially if uh, you get a phone call, something like that. Makes it real handy. Um, anyways, that's the end of the video. Just wanted to tell everybody this is possible with the $32 uh, from Amazon uh, steering wheel control adapter. Piece of cake. Doing the job, change the clock spring, uh, change the wire harness. If you don't have an aftermarket alarm, it's super simple. If you do, you're going to have to take your time. And, and make sure you trace out all the wires and all that kind of stuff. It's a much bigger job. So, anyways, signing off. 
Good luck to everybody adding them steering wheel controls. 